In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the driver's side front inner tie rod on your Dodge Ram located behind your front wheel. Using our 7-8 socket, we're going to head loosen and remove our lug nuts. Now that we have the lug nuts removed, let's go ahead and loosen and remove the wheel and set that aside. Once you have your front wheel off, you want to go ahead and locate this cotter pin right here. We're going to go ahead and use some pliers and see if we can straighten that out the best possible way you can. And there should be a little leg on the back side as well. And you can use your lead on those pliers if you want. Put that in there and kind of work that out. What we're trying to do is pull that cotter pin out of the nut. And the cotter pins are one time use, so you'll be replacing this after. doesn't come out with the pliers, go ahead and grab your cutters here. You're gonna pinch and rock, pinch and rock, and work that out like so. Using a 21 millimeter socket, go ahead and loosen this nut. Go ahead and remove the nut and the washer, set those aside. I'm gonna go ahead and use our pliers on the jam nut here. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen that. I'm gonna use a pair of pliers, grab the inner tie rod, and we wanna make sure that the jam nut is loose. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna strike the knuckle right here. I'm gonna put a small pry bar between the knuckle and the outer tie rod and put some pressure upward. You wanna be careful not to go back and hit the ABS wire in the back here. So just put that pry bar on the knuckle, pry up gently, and we're gonna strike here. That'll release that. Now what I wanna do is unthread this from the inner tie rod. When we do this, we want to count the amount of full rotations it takes to unthread this off of the inner tie rod. So when we install the new one, we can thread it on the same amount and get a preliminary setting for our alignment. I like to use a crayon and mark the amount of revolutions it took to take that off. That way there, I don't forget it, and we can go ahead and take care of that. Remove the jam nut. On the rack boot here, there's a little clamp. I'm gonna use a pair of pliers. Work that clamp off. On the inside, we have this metal band clamp right here securing the boot to the rack. This is a one-time use band. You wanna go ahead and work that off. I'm gonna use a special tool here and work that off. Go ahead and work that boot off and slide that down the inner tie rod. On the inside right here, I wanna go ahead and put our pliers on this here and spin that counterclockwise. Once that's broken free, you can go ahead and unthread that off of the steering rack itself. Let's go ahead and install your inner tie rod. 
thread that in until it bottoms out, and then we'll go ahead and use our pliers to tighten that down. Go ahead and spin off that jam nut. Install the boot. Slide that down. Let's go ahead and get the inside onto the rack and get that clamped on. Just go ahead and work that boot up onto the rack itself. I'm gonna use one of these plastic ties. Make sure that it's in the groove of the original metal band. Simply going to snug that up. Use your cutters, snip off the excess. Install the clamp for the outside end of the boot. I think I'd just work that on until it's in place. Thread on the jam nut. Before installing your outer tie rod, remove the nut, remove the plastic protective cap to protect the boot. It's gonna go ahead and thread this on. We counted 21 revolutions. So thread this on 21 full turns. Now at this point here, you want to go ahead and line this up. Install this. Get our nut started on here. Before we tighten and torque this here, let's go ahead and tighten down our jam nut. Go ahead and use your pliers. Go ahead and snug that down, lock it into place. And then grab this here and just level that out. Torque down your tie rod and nut to 45 foot pounds. I'm going to use a 21 millimeter socket. Go ahead and set your wheel back on. Go ahead and get all of our lug nuts started by hand. Once we have all these on, we're gonna go ahead and snug them down. After finishing this installation, it's important to have an alignment done on your vehicle. Good and torque down our lug nuts to 135 foot pounds. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.